day, everybody. I'm Admiral Jim Stavridis, the commander of U.S. European Command and the Supreme Allied Commander here at NATO. I'm here today on a sad anniversary. This is part of our discussions of the 10th anniversary of the attacks against the United States by Al-Qaeda, the so-called 9-11 attacks, 11 September 2001. On that day, I was in the Pentagon. I was in my office, which is on the side of the building in which the aircraft actually struck. Luckily for me, I was about 150 feet away from the point of impact, and I was also up on the fourth floor. The airplane hit the second floor of the Pentagon and went down. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today having this discussion with you. But I don't want to dwell on the pain of 9-11 because there are two aspects of it that I think are truly worth remembering and are part of what indeed we should feel very proud of that resulted from the 9-11 attacks. And the first one, I would say, is the way that the entire world stood in revulsion to the attacks and in support to the United States, essentially the entire world. We saw striking images around the world of people in tears holding the American flag. This particular image is not an American. This is a citizen of the United Kingdom, a nation which has stood with the United States for much of our history and continues to do so today. But these responses were not in any sense limited to traditional allies of the United States. Here an image of our neighbor to the north, our Canadian brothers and sisters. This was a rally at which 100,000 Canadians attended in the immediate aftermath of the attack. We see other images around the world, flags lowered at half-mast in nations all around the globe. Here are friends in Turkey at one of their most important memorials. Flags were lowered in respect to these attacks, again to show solidarity. We see the important leaders around the world. Here, of course, the Queen of England paying their respects. If we had a list of all the key leaders who went to American embassies around the world, who attended memorial services, it would be very striking. And I think it's important to remember as we look at these flags that it was not just Americans in any sense who died in the 9-11 attacks. In fact, citizens of 90 nations perished in those attacks. So this is very much a response that was natural and it was human around the world. And I think the United States took enormous comfort in a moment of real need for our nation. We also saw military responses like this. This, of course, is a German ship which, in the immediate aftermath of the attacks, came alongside an American ship. And in a, a very important gesture between sailors at sea, and I'm an admiral, and I think I, think I understand this, we saw the German crew line the rail of their ship, it's called, and put their, their hands and their hats over their hearts as they went by the American ship. Pretty extraordinary. Now, the second thing I want to talk about, in addition to the support that the United States felt in the aftermath of 9-11, was the response and the resolution that the world showed together. This is a NATO AWACS aircraft. The response from NATO was immediate and important. As it says in the NATO treaty, an attack on one shall be considered an attack on all. So we saw the immediate response of NATO as an alliance in the aftermath of 9-11. The AWACS flew. We saw our NATO ships go to sea and begin to undertake active patrols against terrorists around the world not only in the immediate area of the United States where we saw airplane responses but also at sea around the world and operations that continue to this day. Uh, most notably of course the ISAF operation in Afghanistan where not only NATO and 28 nations stand together but a total of 50 nations together continue to pursue terrorism to ensure that another 9-11 level attack uh, is deterred, something of extreme importance to us. So finally I would close by saying that 
NATO responded, was resolute, and stood with the United States, and that the support of the many, many nations around the world, 90 of whom also lost citizens in these attacks, has been so important to the United States of America. We say thank you to our NATO partners, to our international partners, and we also know that we will continue together to stand against terrorism in the world today. On this, the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, I'll close by saying thank you for the support shown the United States, for the solidarity, and above all for the resolution as we stand shoulder to shoulder and go forward in this dangerous and turbulent world where NATO, I believe, is a force for good in ensuring stability around the globe. Thank you very much.